Jersey City Medical Center has had a long history of an outstanding orthopedic program here serving Jersey City and Hudson County. Now with the addition of Kale Orthopedics as part of Jersey City Medical Center and an additional investment in robotic surgery, that pushes the envelope to a whole new different level. These are exciting times in Hudson County and at Jersey City Medical Center. Our orthopedic program, which is already outstanding, is now getting the addition of the best of the best. Kale Orthopedic Center now in partnership with RWJ Barnabas Health and here at Jersey City Medical Center doing the most advanced robotic surgery there is. No longer one has to travel across the Hudson to New York City or anywhere else for that matter to receive the best. It's right here with a specially trained team of nurses and physical therapists and everyone who supports the outstanding surgeons of Kale Orthopedics. At the Kale Orthopedic Center, we are so excited to bring this technology to Hudson County and specifically the Jersey City Medical Center. Robotic surgery is the way of the future. There's no question about it. We're now employing robotic technology in the area of hip replacement, knee replacement, and even spine surgery in the field of orthopedic surgery. So we're very excited to bring this technology to Hudson County and the Jersey City Medical Center because the patients of Hudson County deserve the most cutting edge, technologically advanced surgeries as well. Essentially for all my Mako robotic arm assisted total joint replacements, I do a virtual uh, knee replacement on the computer right before the surgery. Front to back, there's no medial lateral overhang because as we know, these patients don't tolerate an implant that's too big, especially medially. So then I'm looking and I see that it's a perfect fit on all three planes. Then I, I obviously make sure that my, my cuts are not too aggressive. I don't want to be taking too much bone. So here I'm only taking 10 millimeters post. The Mako robotic arm assisted technology is much less invasive and it also ensures an accurate and precise installation of the implant. Now we're doing virtual knee replacement and virtual hip replacement surgery using high resolution cross-sectional imaging and the virtual knee replacement is performed prior to surgery on a computer first and then the surgeon performs the surgery and the robot assists us to make sure that the implants are installed precisely and exactly the way we designed it preoperatively on the computer. So what I'm about to do now is resurface the patella. In a total knee replacement, we replace all three parts of the knee. The medial compartment, which is the inside of the knee, the lateral compartment, which is the outside of the knee, and also the kneecap, which is the anterior compartment of the knee. So we're verifying that the saw blade, everything is perfectly positioned, and we're going to make those resections perfectly. The beauty of the robot is not only that the the cuts are perfect, the size, the fit is perfect, but actually because the cuts are so meticulous and so precise, it allows us now to press fit implants in place as opposed to cement them in place. So now I'm gonna start the cuts according to the way it was designed. You saw that the robot arm dropped into the precise position. The uh, monitor is telling me that the robot is ready and I'm very happy and ready to proceed with the cuts the way it was designed on the computer. So I need to continue to cut with this saw blade until all the green disappears. So 
So now the anterior femur is perfectly prepared to accept an implant. I just have one more cut to make, and then this femur is ready for a total knee replacement. I make sure that this tibial base plate... The robot will find the correct angle to resect the proximal tibia with that three degrees of the posterior slope that's perpendicular to the mechanical axis that we designed on the computer prior to surgery. So watch this robot move. Once I come into the field, now the robot is going to reset that proximal tibia, three degree posterior slope, perpendicular to that mechanical axis so that in the end, this patient will have a knee that is perfectly up and down, perpendicular to the floor. Every time she comes down with that left leg, there will be no varus or valgus malalignment. It will be perfectly perpendicular to the floor, which is a neutral mechanical axis. <laughs>